Hi everyone, Michael Davids from Buffont Delacroix Hair and Makeup. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own clip-in hair extensions. You may have bought some weft hair from online or you may have gotten sick of having permanent hair extensions in your head and you just want to rip them out, throw some clips on them and run them through the sewing machine and have your own set of clip-in hair extensions. Now, throughout the video, I'm going to give you some very basic sewing machine skills. It's not really a tutorial on how to use a sewing machine, but I'm just going to give you a few little tips. Now, you will need a sewing machine. You'll need some, obviously, some weft hair extensions, either purchased online or your own from your head. And you'll need some toupee clips, which you can buy online. You can go on eBay and buy them. Someone in your area will be selling them, and they're not that expensive. And you need some cotton and some scissors. Let's go! I create my clip-in hair extensions using only two pieces, a larger longer one at the top and a smaller shorter one at the nape. Measure exactly where you want your hair extensions to sit. Remember leave a little bit of room away from your hairline just so they're not exposed if you pull your hair back. If you're using your old hair extensions still measure them because clip-ins are very different. Here, I've got the three pieces of hair I've removed from my client's hair. We're only going to be making two pieces of hair extensions, so get the centre one, which is the middle size one, and divide the hair between the extension piece you're going to use on the nape and the extension piece you're going to use at the top. You'll probably need to do a little bit of cutting and pasting, and you might end up with a few shorter pieces, but you'll be able to work it out in the end when you sew the extensions together. Here's what you should have now. If you're not used to sewing, threading up a sewing machine can be a real pain in the ass. So just have a look at a few basic tutorials on YouTube and you'll find it to be at least a little bit of help. So after about three hours of trying, I've managed to successfully thread my sewing machine. Grab the nape part of your hair extensions, set the sewing machine to zigzag and put two of the pieces together and clamp the sewing machine foot down on the hair extension pieces. Whack your sewing machine into full throttle and hope for the best. While you're sewing your hair extensions, remember at the start and at the end to push the reverse lever down and then back up again just to zigzag back and forth. This reinforces the stitching at the ends so the sewing doesn't unravel. Now I'm taking the two pieces of hair extensions and sewing them again. This basically reinforces the hair because you're not sewing fabric, you're actually sewing strands. So you don't want the extensions to slip apart. After you've done that, grab your third section and repeat the process. Sewing the one hair extension piece onto the other two that you've previously sewn and don't forget right at the very end to flick your sewing machine into reverse so you can reinforce the end seam. Remove the foot, lift up the needle to release the hair extensions and snip away the excess string. Now you've sewn together the three pieces from the nape, it's time to start Frankensteining the rest of the hair extensions together, trimming away any of the excess hair. If you're reusing permanent hair extensions from your head, you may have had up to five rows. However, we're only making a two-piece hair extension set, a small one for the nape of the neck and a larger one to go on top. So we're evenly dividing the excess hair between the bottom and the top rows. Sew the next pieces together and then reinforce them one more time. Now grab your last piece of the section line it up on the hair extension and reinforce it onto the bundle. Trim up the edges of the hair extensions. Now it's time to reinforce both sides of the weave. Clip down the foot and put the power on and then sew backwards and forwards just to secure the edges. This will secure all of the weaves together so it's a nice finished package. If you don't do this, the hair extensions will fray apart. And that's the wefts on the nape section complete. Underneath are the weaves and on top it's seamless. Now it's time to start on the top section. Pull away any hair you're not working on 
so you're left with two pieces to then sew together. You have to hold the seams of the hair extensions together very closely, otherwise they'll separate and the hair extensions will fall apart. Now systematically add your next piece and run it through the sewing machine. And of course, as we said before, make sure you reinforce the edges. Keep on sewing on wefts of hair to match the density of your own hair, so there are no gaps when you clip them in. Remember, we're only doing a two-piece set of hair extensions, so it's okay to make them extra thick. Remember to trim off the corners and reinforce with a backward sew. You're going to attach your clips on the side where the wefts are. The other side is nice and smooth. Try to make sure your snap clips or toupee clips have a silicon band. This band will protect your hair from breakage. The clip slides in and snaps tight. Set your sewing machine to buttonhole. At first, use the manual control for the needle, because if you plant your foot down on the pedal, you may hit metal on the clip and snap the needle. But when everything's in place, you can go full steam ahead. Please be careful when you're using the button setting, because you can get a little bit too confident and then disaster can happen. It's happened to me many times in the past, but this time, fortunately, I was very lucky. And here is the end result. With the nape piece completed, I can now size it up to my previous measurements. And, of course, the top piece fits beautifully as well. You'll see the importance of the nape piece, because it fills out any of the gaps underneath. And there you go, that's our top and bottom row of clip-in hair extensions. Now they're probably a little bit different to what you've seen or maybe bought online before because when you buy these types of hair extensions online you tend to get 10 to 15 pieces. They do this so you've got versatility into where you put them on the scalp so you can fill out holes and stuff like that. But if you measure up your head or your client's head, you can do just the two rows, that means the top and the bottom, and you'll be able to cut and tailor them for your client's head or your head. This makes applying them really, really, really easy. And you got to witness my fantastic sewing machine skills. Look, to be honest with you, my brain is not wired to use machines like sewing machines or even computers for that matter. But you just need to have some really, really basic sewing skills. Sewing machines are very temperamental, they will choke every now and then, but if they do, just give them a kick and they'll start working again. They're pretty sturdy. I hope you got a lot out of today's tutorial. Now you can make your own clip-in hair extensions. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. All of our information is down below. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those bits and pieces. My name's Michael Davids from Bufont Delacroix Hair and Makeup, and we will see you next time. Bye.